Okay, we're going to talk about the A chord. So, get your guitar ready and get your pick. Uh, hold your pick like you're pinching it and then make your hand kind of like a fist. So, like you're going to write with your pick. And pull it back and with a loose wrist, we'll do the picking. So hold your guitar with your right hand has got the pick, your strong hand, the one you write with, uh, if you're right-handed. And your left hand is gonna do the chord patterns up here. So I'm gonna show you the A chord. It's these three fingers you reach under your guitar, make a line with your fingernails, put them on the second fret, strings four, three, two. So you should have two strings not pressed down, six and five, then four, three, two, and then the first string ringing free strum the whole thing. Beautiful A chord. Now I'm going to show you all this and then I'm going to show you on the board if you are not sure what to do. If you are sure, uh, listen to this next part and then pause the video and practice your A strumming. So for the strumming that we use in old time music, the guitar often is the rhythm person, and that means um, in string bands, there's usually not a drum, and so the guitar keeps the beat, while the fiddle and the banjo and other instruments play the melody and play over top. Now, sometimes the guitar gets to do that, but... Often the guitar can just keep the beat. I personally like keeping the beat. It's really fun. And the bass keeps the beat. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So form your A and you use the pads of your fingers and you have to press it down like you're cutting that string off, making a new end to the string. So you have to press clamp it with your thumb because it's if it's buzzing that might be what's happening all right down here we pick the fifth string with this down strum the rest it's like swatting a fly good that's the first so that's the fifth string that's an a and surprise it's an a chord You can do that over and over if you want. Or you can do the rock and bass using the fifth string strum, then the E string strum. His lower neighbor. So start with the fifth string, then pick the sixth string. And that gives a little bouncing back and forth. It's fun. So practice the video. We'll do four more. One, two, three, four. Awesome. We often do things in groups of four because it works well with the dances. Now let me show you on the board if you need a little more instruction. If not, and you've got it, that's that's the basics of it. But I'll show you what I drew here. A little glare on it maybe. Ah. So here's the A chord. weird ring okay here it is 
So here's your face looking down at the guitar while you're playing. String closest to you is six, five. Those will be the bass notes. On the second fret, you have press down, pointer, middle, ring. And let the outer edges ring and the fifth string ring. So with the picking part, Okay. Pick the fifth string by itself. Play a note. Strum the chord, the rest of the strings out. Then play the sixth string, bass note two. And strum the chord again. The rest of the strings out. And at the top here, I wrote just a little reminder. Chord, what's a chord? What's a note? Chords being three or more notes sounding at the same time. Um, so three sounds. All the strings, that's a chord. Three or more, that's a chord. A note is one string sounding one sound. That's one note. The chords, you brush them, and they all sound together. So that's an A chord. I'm gonna show you the D chord and the E chord, and I'm not gonna go into as much detail, but I'll show you how to strum those two. 